Imagine walking into a factory where full houses are being made just like products in a factory line. No rain delays, no one stealing your materials, no confusion with different contractors. This idea, like a biscuit factory for homes, is already changing how buildings are made in some parts of Europe and Asia. In a country like ours, where so many people don't have proper homes, this system could be a game changer. Since it all happens inside a factory, things become more predictable, something you can't get with normal construction. Today, I'm going to explain how the system works and why it can solve the housing problem in India much faster than what people think. It might even change how we all think about building homes, the manufacturing mindset, why homes should be products and not projects. What if I told you that for many years, the construction industry has been solving the wrong problem? We've been treating each home like a one-time project, when we should have been treating it like a repeatable product. Think about how homes are built normally. Every house is treated like a new thing. New design, different materials, different workers. Architects make plans, contractors guess costs, and the materials are ordered just for that one house. All this creates a lot of waste and increases costs. But here's the problem. We need a lot of affordable homes fast. The current way of building is too slow and too costly. In the US alone, more than 5 million homes are needed. And in India, 64 million homes are needed by 2034. The same issue is there in many other countries. Other industries faced this same kind of issue long ago. Take cars, for example. Henry Ford changed the car industry by creating one design and making it on an assembly line. Before this, every car was made by hand. After his method, cars became much cheaper and better. The same thing happened with fridges, phones, and many other products. When we follow a manufacturing method, everything becomes easier to manage. If the design and production are fixed, we can improve the system step by step. We don't depend much on individual worker skill. And the more homes we make, the cheaper each one becomes. Now compare this to normal construction. Rain stops work, materials get damaged, theft happens, finding and managing workers becomes a headache. But in a factory, work goes on smoothly, materials are safe, and workers focus on only one task and become experts in that. That's where the biscuit factory idea comes in. Just like biscuits are made using the same mold again and again, precast concrete factories use standard molds to make parts of homes. This saves time and reduces waste. And the results are clear. Studies show that precast can reduce costs by up to 23% compared to normal concrete work. Companies using this method are finishing projects in half the time. The formula is simple. Same design, same process equals big savings. Inside the housing factory, the production line revolution. The car industry changed 100 years ago with the assembly line. But construction has been slow to change until now. Inside a housing factory, things are very different from a normal construction site. It looks more like a modern factory than a building site. On normal sites, many problems happen. Rain delays, workers with different skill levels, and too many people to manage. These things make work slow and messy. But in a factory, everything is planned. The working conditions are perfect. Materials don't get stolen. And the parts made are stronger and more reliable. In the past, people tried to make houses in factories but failed. Why? Because they used the same old methods, just moved them indoors. But today's precast factories are smarter. Every machine, sensor, and worker has a clear job, just like in a car factory. It all starts with something called Building Information Modeling, BIM. This is a digital design tool that helps the factory and architect work together from the beginning. It helps keep costs low and designs flexible, even with standard parts. Inside the factory, everything runs like clockwork. Workers get the mold ready, some put in the steel bars to make the concrete strong. Unlike on-site construction where one worker does many things, here each worker becomes an expert at one task. This makes your work faster and better. There's a lot of automation. Robots do the mixing, pouring, and removing of concrete parts. Sensors check concrete's temperature, the setting time, just like car companies track each car part. The smart system helps factory work better and avoid problems early. One more big advantage is parallel work. This means 
Many parts, walls, floors, roofs, are made at the same time in different areas of the factory. In normal construction, these things happen one after the other. Here, they happen together. Every piece is checked for size and strength very carefully. Since it's all in a factory, there's no surprise or delay. Work finishes on time. Materials and labors are always ready. Once the parts are made, they're kept safely until they're sent to the site. Everything is managed in a very organized way from start to finish, scaling the solution from factory to national housing strategy. The parts made in these housing factories can help solve the global housing problem, but there are some roadblocks. Old rules and funding methods make it hard for the system to grow. Let's look at Singapore. There, the government worked with factories to grow the system fast. It shows how public support and industry can come together to build more homes. Their teamwork made sure that affordable homes are always available. There's another big plus point. These homes are also very strong. In places with earthquakes, floods or storms, these houses can handle it much better than regular ones. They also need less repair over time, which saves a lot of money in the long run. But many places still follow the old construction laws. These laws were made for brick and mortar methods, not for modern factory-made homes. Because of this, it becomes difficult for precast to grow. These outdated rules stop new ideas from coming in. Funding is also a challenge. Setting up a precast factory costs money. That's why many successful projects are done through partnerships, where the government helps the private company. This reduces the risk and makes the business work better. If someone already owns a factory, they can shift to making homes. It'll cost a bit at the start, but later the benefits are huge. Housing demand is steady, unlike one-time projects. This gives stable business and regular income. Some people say factory-made homes look boring, but that's not true anymore. Today's precast lets you use different textures, colors, and finishes, so houses can look nice and still be made fast and cheap. If you start thinking about housing and basic infrastructure, like roads, water, and electricity, then everything changes. It's no longer about profit only. It's about making sure everyone has a good home. And only factory-made housing can do this on such a big scale. So today, we saw that the future of building homes is all about using factory methods and smart technology. With machines, robots, digital tools, precast concrete factories are completely changing how homes are made. If you run a factory, Think about how the car industry changed. Cars became better and cheaper. The same thing can happen in housing. With tools like digital twins, a computer copy of the real factory, and smart data system, you can keep improving and reducing costs. Now imagine a world where low-cost homes are not just dreams or just government promises, but real products made in a factory. Can we build homes for everyone, even people with less money? The answer is yes. The technology is already here. The system works. The only question is, who is ready to lead the change?